What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? This is Ring Bean, and welcome to episode number two of Moving the Game Room. This is the little vlog series that I started up so I can show you guys the entire transition of taking this entire game room down and moving it to my new house, which has a bigger game room. I'm super excited about it, but at the same time, I'm nervous as fuck. Um, this is the first official day where I'm actually going to start taking things out of this room, taking things down. I don't know what I'm really going to accomplish today. What I would like to accomplish is my entire Atari collection. I want to take this entire collection down, as well as my Sega CDs and my Sega Saturns and a bunch of my loose stuff that I didn't have room for, which is going to suck. I'm, the, the main problem that I'm seeing is keeping everything alphabetized because as you can see you know like all my Ataris are alphabetized or my PlayStation 2s or I try to keep everything alphabetized and I'm going to try to keep it that way during the move I don't know how well that's going to work out uh, but hopefully I'm what my strategy is just to take everything in, in sections and when I get there hopefully hopefully it'll work out I don't know this is this is the first time I ever moved a collection like this and like I said I want to take these two shot top shelves down uh, take all the extra stuff floating around just the stuff that doesn't have a home I might even get all the all the controllers off the wall. I don't know how far that's gonna come uh, Maybe even the virtual boy uh, and uh, oh my god all this shit. I haven't even thought about moving uh, We got we got a lot of work to do guys, but anyways, I'll catch you here in a minute I'll show you where we have gotten All right guys quick update. I'm making some serious ass progress as you can see we got the entire Atari collection down Sega Saturn Sega CDs are all gone I'm moving a lot more than I thought I was. I'm just getting in that zone. Uh, the one thing I did not take into account is the damn drop factor that's happening all over the place. Shit's just dropping, exploding everywhere, but I'm trying to take my time and just bust it out. I don't know how much more I'm gonna get done today. I'm gonna try for the PlayStation 2s. Um, God almighty, you know the worst of it's gonna be is the consoles, unhooking all the consoles and getting this big ass 200 pound TV out of here, which is gonna be the most pain in the ass. But we're moving guys, we are zooming along. Stay tuned for the next update. Alright guys, I'm calling it quits for today. I'm going to show you the progress that I'm, I'm super proud of myself because I have moved a couple thousand games over and it has been tremendous work. Uh, as you can see, I took care of all the Super Nintendo games. Uh, the 64 games are gone. I had a stack of Sega Genesis. Those are gone. What I'm going to tackle tomorrow is the PlayStation 1, the original Xbox, and then the NES hopefully and get those knocked out. The consoles, like I said, are going to be last. I got to move the Game Boy games, all those. It's, I'm exhausted, people. That was a lot of work. No one tells you exactly how heavy 300 damn PlayStation 2 games are when they're in a tote box. They're absolutely excruciating. But but it's moved, and you can see we're starting to see some of the bare shelves here, which I'm going to recycle a lot of these shelves. And I'm going to use the most I can, but when I show you over here in the actual game room what the, the some of the plans that are going on, you'll, you'll kind of see how everything's coming together. Uh, but that's it for today in the game room. Let's move over there. I'm going to show you what we got going on in the other game room. All right, guys, we're over here at the new house. Let me show you exactly all of what I moved. All this right here was moved today, except for that one tiny box you saw in the first video. That's a lot of work, believe it or not. Now, I could just shove everything in a box and just sloppily do it and maybe have, you know, uh, quite a bit more. But I try to be careful with all this stuff because, you know, a lot of this stuff is super valuable. So I'm really trying to take care of this collection as best as I can. Imagine walking up on this at a garage sale. Holy shit, your Sheckler would go all the way to the North Pole. Uh, it's, it's weird how I've been doing this. It, it's, it's working, uh, but at the same time, it's like everything is getting everywhere. So I know when it's all said and done, to put all this stuff on the shelves is going to be a pain in the ass. But that's what we got today right there. That's a lot of the big stuff. Keep in mind, that game room, once that game room's done, I still got the Wii, I, I got the Xbox 360, PS3, everything modern in the other room. It's just the shit that wouldn't fit. So I got, oh my god, a lot more to go. And, and see, I would have had more done today, but we put up the fish tanks. Uh, the Moving fish tanks are absolutely a pain in the ass, too. So we got the fish tanks moved, and you know, I got my 55 and my 35 or 40 or whatever. So coming in the actual game room here, you saw that I moved and give you a size comparison. That's that big ass bean bag right there in this room. So you can remember just how small the game room really was. So we got that chilling right here, which I'm glad to move it over here because I'm tired of not having anything to sit down on whenever I'm tired as shit. Uh, so I'm, I'll, let me go over some ideas with you that I got in the game room. First of all, shelving is pretty much all going to be custom. That's something I'm going to work on. I got tons of brackets that I can reuse. The shelving themselves that I've already pre-cut a lot of that stuff won't work because it was designed for that small game room but as you'll see since these ceilings are so tall what I'm going to do is have at the door line right here we're going to have a shelf going all the way from here 
all the way to the end and that's telling me nothing but box consoles so that's where i'm gonna have the genesis super nintendo nes's and all that that's gonna look good uh the tv uh the crt tv is gonna go right here and I honestly don't know how I'm going to design. It's all going to be custom shelves. It's, I'm going to have as much shelf space as possible. Uh, what I was thinking is coming into the game room, this is going to be nothing but NES games. Uh, I only got, I don't know, maybe close to 500, somewhere between four or 500 NES games. So that should fill all this up and give me three, about three rows to go. Uh, because I honestly doubt I'll ever get a full NES set. That's just a very hard thing to do. Um, a lot of you suggested it, and I thought of it too. This door is going. We're going to get rid of that um, and do something with this closet. Over here, beside the, uh, the big-ass beanbag, this is going to look great. Nothing but custom shelves all the way to the beanbag, and that's going to be nothing but original Xbox. So I should be able to fit, I don't know, somewhere between 800 to 1,000 right there. I'm, I think i I, I got to do more measurements and get the shelves going. And then, of course, for the, for the YouTube... You know that I'm going to have the beanbag and I'm going to have cartridges behind me, I think. Uh, all that, it's still all in due time. I don't know exactly until I really start doing it. That's how the madness in my mind works. But guys, that is it for today. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go sit down and relax. This is, Like I said, this series is just to fill you guys in. Give you a tidbit and what's going on. That way I don't get people asking me, like, where are the videos at, man? Uh, and this is why, because this is taking a lot out of me. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching and tune in tomorrow and we will be doing some more shit. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day, people.